I'm Skylar. A question I hear pretty often is, how do I connect a camera to my iPad for video conferencing? Well, while you can use Skype and uh, FaceTime and a couple other voice over IP applications for iPad, uh, the first generation actually has no camera capability, so no video conferencing on that beast. But on the second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and iPad mini, all of them have a FaceTime HD camera on the front of the device, and it's a pretty good camera. Um, the cool thing about it is that it's built in, and it works really well. Uh, you don't look bad, <laughs> so your you know, presentation in the meeting will be all right. Um, as I said before, Skype is a really good option for doing conferencing. FaceTime is wonderful for communicating with one person or, say, two people who are in the same room, but it can't connect to multiple users simultaneously. So really, if you want to use iPad as a video conferencing tool, I recommend, well, the best thing would be the fourth generation iPad with Retina Display or an iPad Mini because both of them can connect to LTE networks and most of uh, those applications can work over uh, cellular now. So you could be able to do voice conferencing wherever you were. That's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar. Thank you.